Our topic today is, what R&D is done by machine shops. Hi, Linda. Hi, Jamie. Can you tell me about uh, the R&D that you find in machine shops? Okay, uh, all sorts of uh, R&D happens in machine shops. I remember as a young engineer working in Ferranti in a machine shop there, um, they were doing all sorts of innovative things. Uh, I love the smell, particularly the smell of machine shops. So whenever I go in to see a client in a machine shop, it's a joy. The kind of R&D usually involves components, uh, either small or large, and it can be in any sector. It can be automotive, aeronautics, or just for good old industry. And usually there'll be different materials or they're having to manufacture it using different approaches and jigs and fixtures. Okay, um, can I put you on the spot and ask you how, oh, to give me an example of one. Okay, um, in a particular machine shop, which was for the avionics industry, they were making parts for airplanes, for the cowls of airplanes. And essentially they were using uh, uh, materials, specialist materials, which required very careful machining, and they had to be sent off for external non-destructive testing. Okay, and how much then does a machine shop get in research and development tax relief or tax credit? Well, it depends how much R&D they're doing. A small machine shop, perhaps turning over 300,000 a year, uh, might expect back up to 40,000 pounds, maybe a little more per year of the claim. A larger machine shop turning over a few million, you can expect two, three, 400,000 pounds of tax rebate or credit. Excellent. Thank you, Jamie. Welcome, Linda. Contact Linda or Jamie to start your R&D claim today.